Hey folks, how you doing there? Hey, uh, Ron Shawley back with you for another installment of our tech series here on AccuWeather and Pennsylvania Weather Watchers. What we're looking at now, um, I'm opening it up, and it is the um, uh, Newton's, I call it a Newton's Cradle, okay? Based upon Newton's uh, Law of Physics, okay? But anyway, the first thing I do, I open up the package, and right there, big warning tag. Do not remove. Um, it's telling us to install batteries inside the unit first, okay? And there are two Phillips screws up here. So I'm going to get a screwdriver here. Back into the range of the camera. All right, so I have the required 1.5 volt batteries. I remove the Phillips screws ever so gently. I don't want to be jarring this around. Once you see what it looks like, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I've had them in the past, and I've had on occasion uh, messed up the uh, um, the balls that are attached to. You'll see in a second here. So the cover comes off, and we install the batteries in the right polarity. Okay, double checking. Even though the sp spring usually indicates the negative end, um, I've had situations where the spring is actually positive. Don't ask me why. Been known to happen. But uh, across the board, the spring usually indicates the uh, negative end. Okay, so we take the Phillips screws and we tighten them back down. Okay, and before I yank it out of the box, we read the instructions, okay? Batteries are installed. Gently, and I mean ever so gently, remove your light-up Newton cradle from its box to display. Okay, and it is fully displayed, okay? So we're going to um, remove it from the box, okay? And as you can see, it's turned upside down. Okay, so we're going to flip it upright. Okay, and this is where it gets kind of interesting because we have to gently undo it so it's not going to get all tangled up, which it looks like it might be. Okay, so the balls that are hanging here now, okay. Oh boy. So we have to untangle the little balls that are hanging here. To gently unravel the wires so they're hanging down. There we go. Okay, now, again, you, you really have to exercise patience when you use this. Okay, and there you go, folks, okay? Um, what we're looking at here is the Newton Cradle, okay? Now I want to stop the motion here for a second, okay? All right, let me rotate the unit. Okay, it has an off-on switch on the front where we can turn the, the unit off. Okay, turn it back on. All right, now what's interesting about the uh, lighted up Newton cradle, it is memorizing. I can see working in an office and I start playing with it and it just becomes very, very, Memorizing indeed. All right, in short, um, this is from our friends at Scientific Online, okay? Um, if you're interested in this product or any of the products that I'm reviewing, absolutely go to their website and they have a good online description of all their products right in detail to help you decide whether or not the product is uh, a product that would be useful uh, in the classroom setting or if you just want to play with it or if you just want to have it in your office or whatever um, but this is a classic desktop display piece that has become a must for any office decor and you're simply taking one marble okay and you drop it okay and the dynamics of it is that's you know, based upon Newton's law, 
that's what happens, okay? And people say, well, it's just balance is bad. Yeah, it's cool, okay? But this is physics. This is what intrigued me when I was younger to get into science and physics. I thought, wow, well, what actually made or what causes that reaction, okay? And why doesn't it continue? Why does it decrease in nature like that? All part of physics, folks, okay? Um, it's called kinetic energy, what it's called, and what else can I say about it? It's just really cool, okay? Let's just do that one more time. Oh, you could just sit there for hours and hours and hours clicking them boogers, okay? But anyway, it's called kinetic energy, and it's from our friends at Scientific Online, all right? Check them out. Again, they've got so many wonderful uh, educational toys, uh, office toys, as I like to call them as well. So check them out, folks. All right. But again, please, when you get any product from the company, make sure you follow the instructions that are listed because it says really big warning. Do not remove. You know, um, they do that for a reason. You can see why, because and I was really being careful, okay? And the cables were all tangled up, all right? So you just want to make sure that um, you are extremely careful when you unpackage any product and, and read the instructions. That's why they make them, you know, the, to read the instructions before you do anything. Don't jump into it like I've done in the past and think, oh, I can do it myself and well, you can't. So anyway, I'm babbling on. Hey, for this uh, installment of our tech products, I will be talking with you later. And again, consider buying Newton's Cradle. It's illuminated too. I like it, the light blue, you know. What I got to figure out now is why, how does the power get to those balls, okay? That intrigues me. So I'm guessing this is an electrical wire that comes down to the light. And because it's LED in nature, I'm guessing uh, the polarity is such that, hmm, very intriguing. You know, very intriguing. Uh, definitely a classic. And now with the illumination of the balls, uh, conversation piece. You know, people walk in, they're like, wow, man, how's that thing work, you know? So, um, yeah, definitely check them out, folks.